So as you guys know, Animated Adventures just came out a couple hours ago and a lot of people have complaining that there aren't enough way to get gems in this game and I 100% agree. So in this video, I thought it would be necessary to show you guys every single method to get gems and the fastest method to get gems in the game. This is going to be an in-depth guide. I'm going to show you guys every single way to get gems and which ones you should prioritize. So yeah, if you guys do find this video helpful, make sure you do like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. And yeah, let's get right into this. All right. So by the time you guys are watching the video, I would assume you guys already finished the story. But if you haven't, the first method of getting gems is to actually complete the story. Every single story gives you 30 gems plus an 80 gem first time completion rate. Which means every time uh, you go through on these roads, you get about 600 gems each time, which is very, very good. But what they do not tell you is that if you played Anime Adventures, you probably know this already. But hard mode, if you switch to hard mode, as you see, it doesn't tell you anything. I haven't even done it yet. It doesn't say anything. But if you complete hard, hard mode, you do get another 80 gems for a first time completion, plus 30 gems, which means you get another 600 gems each time you do this. So that's 12, no, that's 1800 gems if you complete all the stories in hard mode, and another 1800 if you complete it all in normal mode. So a lot of people don't know that. Uh, I need to still do that right now. Actually, as you see, I have zero clears on hard mode in all of them. But yeah, you do need to do all those in hard mode, and that is another 1800 gems, which you really, really need. As you see right now, I'm pretty sure it is Garp in the banner, which I really really need but i spun and i didn't get him oh uh he left it's elf wizardness now which is also really good as you see my pity i'm still 200 off and i really want it and it's also boma but yeah that is the first method you do want to complete every single story in both modes all right next thing i'm gonna talk about are the codes now there are a couple codes in the game it's like seven codes they're all youtuber codes i'm gonna put them all on the screen right now pretty much all these codes give you 50 gems each so make sure you use these very short section of this video but yeah just make sure you use the codes this one's very obvious next we have your challenges now this is one of the best ways to get to get um gems in the game now unfortunately there aren't much challenges in the game there's dailies weekies weeklies infinite and vip to be honest i think buying vip is worth it just to get these vip quests every single day it's vast a lot of gems that you get every single day and vip is only like like 100 or 200 robux i don't know but vip is worth it if you don't have it although you don't need it it's not necessary at all only all, all it gives are these quests which is pretty good so i would i would um recommend you do get these quests very good for gems and then there's an the infinite quest i don't know why they don't add more wave quests like 25 and 50 and it's just 15 that's kind of dumb but make sure you do these every day weeklies these give you so much gems this is 2000 gems which you complete all your weekly quest but i do need to log into the game a couple more times to do this and play for other players but yeah this is a really good way to get uh gems make sure you do do your weeklies and obviously your dailies do all your Quest. These are pretty much the main way to get gems in the game. Uh, unfortunately, that's probably going to be the best method when I actually playing a game is to be doing a quest. Next, we have challenges. These challenges do give you gems. As you see, you get 130 for completing this one. You do this one, you get 30, plus you get trade rolls. And you do this one, you get 30, plus you get some more trade rolls. So these ones, there's three different challenges every single time the uh, challenge resets. And one of them, I'm pretty sure. It's really common for one of these to have a 130 gem quest. So make sure you always do this. It's a free 130 gems. And these challenges are really, really, really easy. Next up, I'm talking about the AFK zone. Now, this place is absolutely horrible. Uh, I don't think it's good at all. Even if you have premium, which doubles your rates, and VIP, which makes it three times, it's horrible rates. Not good at all. My next method is definitely going to be a better method than doing this and it's also afk so yeah don't do the afk zone very very bad unless you, you're really too lazy to set up uh, a macro which i'm gonna be talking about in the next step then don't do that all right next method now this is gonna be the fully afk method that you do when you're offline uh this method is pretty much using tiny task to pretty much just keep replaying a story mode over and over again while you're afk i'm gonna put a video on the screen now and in the description go watch that video if you want to know how to do this it'll be too long to explain in this video so go to that video if you want to know how to just do that afk method but that afk method makes around 360 gems like an hour or something around there it could be different for you guys depending on your units but it makes a good amount of gems an hour but it's fully afk it's like 8,000 gems a day fully afk if you're AFK for 24 hours for a reason but yeah that's a, that's a pretty good gem method you just fully afk doing that one and yeah now let's go to my last method i already did it but as you see in my last clip i had 40 gems and in this clip i have 500 now i'm gonna play the clip on the screen now of what i did to actually get those gems 
All right, so as you see, I'm on wave 50 in this um, in this infinite, and I want to see how much I actually, how much gems I should get from 50 waves from an infinite, if I even get any, because it doesn't say how many you get or if you do get any at all. So I want to see if this is an actual gem method to do infinites, because I've asked people around. I asked this guy that was level 50, and he said he doesn't even know. So I'm gonna figure out myself, see if I get any um, gems here in 50 waves. Hopefully I do. Because they're not, there's not a lot of gem methods right now, I'm be honest. So, if this is a good gem method, which I'm hoping it is, then let's go. Also, I got weight 50 with just these legendaries. Infinite in this game, in this game, is so, so easy. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to do legendary uh, infinite, all you need to do, all you need to get is ice admiral and you're good. But, let's see how much gems we get after this. I started with 41 gems before this. 41, so let's see if I get any. All right, so right here, this is say I got any. I got three trait crystals for 36 minutes of time. But let's see if I actually if I actually changed in the main lobby. I'm hoping it did, bro. Oh wow, I actually got I got 460. I'm pretty sure I started with 41 before I did that, so I got 460 gems for 36 minutes. I mean that is really good. That's 12 gems a minute. That is actually really good. I didn't expect that. 460 gems, 36 minutes. Which is if you do if you just go straight straight up AFK if you go straight AFK that's like that's way better than going straight AFK if you go AFK it's 30 gems every five minutes this one's 12 gems every minute so I mean yeah it's like it's like double it's going AFK and it's infinite which is really easy so yeah wow I didn't expect that so infinite is definitely the best method you guys should get gems and that's not really saying a lot because that's kind of one of the only methods to get gems besides actually playing story. Doing infinite is going to give you so many gems. I got 460 doing a 36 minute run, wave 50, and it probably you probably get more after that. In anime adventures, it like stopped at the wave 50. You stopped getting gems, but in this one, it might be different. All right, last method to get gems. As you see, I am in a trade server. You get here by going through the portal in the hub, and in the server, you can actually go to one of these benches, these booths, and let me find an open one that no one's using right now. Okay, I get this one right here. I go to this booth, you set up, and what you want to do is you add a person. So I put like this shiny frost reaper in here. And right here, you put sell one items, and I'm pretty sure it's like 500 or something. And there you go. Now it's on sale for 500 gems, and someone could buy this, which I don't think anyone will buy this. So I'm going to close that. And yeah, these people are selling this for like 100 gems. And this is a good, this is a decent method, I guess, for later on. Like, maybe if you want to sell like a legendary, look at this guy, selling this for 100,000 gems. What is that? This guy just has his secrets. But yeah, honestly, this is probably pretty good. Let's say you get an extra like Bulma, and honestly, someone might want a Bulma. It hasn't been abandoned in a long time. So yeah, this is the final method for getting gems. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's everything. I'm pretty sure I've covered every single method to get gems. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments. But I think the best method is definitely to just do infinite. That's definitely the best method. You get a lot of gems, a lot of lot of gems, and to go AFK. And when you go AFK, go, don't go in a time chamber. Just go uh, in that video that I put in the description and watch that and do a tiny task and AFK that. But before the video ends, let's do a 10 spin. I want to get go. Oh, no, it was free run just one second ago. Whatever. I'll do a 10 spin on this one. Hopefully. Hopefully I get Esper, I guess. I don't really want Esper that much, but I'll do it because I'm probably not going to get it regardless, but... Uh... I didn't get it. I got Spirit Hybrid. But yeah, that's me for this video. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure you do like and subscribe. And yeah. See you guys in the next one. Later.